I didn't know whether or not if I wanted to film this video, but in this case, it's one of those videos where I have to work on my delivery. So what better way to do it by killing two birds with one stone with story time? This is a quick story about a life lesson I've learned. Be careful what you order on social media, and I hope that you find some type of value in it. Whoa, that scared me. Also, if you are into these type of ramble one-on-one -on -one videos, consider subscribing to this channel. I probably will be doing more of these so I can practice more speaking to the camera because apparently some people don't understand when I speak and that is very sad. Back in 2020, when the world was entering the world of chaos, we've been seeing a lot of special targeted ads, especially on Instagram and TikTok. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know that I love oral care products. And I was shown this particular toothbrush that have ultra soft bristles and i think over like thousand bristles on it or something like that to that extent but it cleans very effectively and they showed examples where you took a corner of the cob and you just brush it with the toothbrush and you can see the amount of dirt and the amount of debris that this toothbrush got rid of and that instantly caught my eye and the more i watched that ad social media again keeps showing me that ad over and over and over and i was like you know what one day i was like i'm gonna buy this toothbrush and just try it out and do like a review while checking out on their website they did an upsell, no shocker there. And you get like one for like 50% off. And I was like, you know what? I'll, okay, I'll buy one. So I bought one that have like a wavy bristles just to try it out because I've never seen any toothbrush like that before. Anyways, it took a while for the package to arrive because you know, the world is in, now in chaos at this point. We don't know exactly how these packages from point A to point B are being delivered. So it was to be expected that some of these packages were on delayed. When I got the package, I was super excited to try it out. And I opened the package and I've noticed there's only one toothbrush in there in this case. The other case was completely empty. Now I'm saying to myself like, yo, what the hell, what the, what the hell is going on? I immediately took a picture and I sent it to the company. But to my surprise, the company emailed me back saying that, hey, we just noticed that we made an error. We're going to send you a new one. And I'm saying to myself, how did you now notice that you've sent an error in my package? That doesn't make any sense. If I didn't complain, you probably wouldn't even recognize that one of them has been missing. Anyways, it had my wheels turning and I'm like, as far as customer service go, they were very prompt. So I give them that, but who sends a package with one of them missing? So anyways, weeks passed, I got a mail from that company with the toothbrush. Problem is it wasn't the wavy toothbrush that I ordered. And I even specify exactly what toothbrush I ordered. They sent me the exact same model toothbrush. And at that point, I didn't even bother to respond anymore because I'm like, okay, this company is very unprofessional. Professional. It just had my wheels turning even more. So one day I decided to look up that toothbrush on Google and I found out the, the exact same model on Alibaba for far less amount of money. I think I spent about 25 plus on two toothbrushes. On AliExpress, they were selling it for like $2 something cents. And I'm like, wait, are you serious? The, and I'm telling you the exact same picture, just like the, the model of the website. So they really up selling this, this toothbrush and making a profit out of it, which is fine when you're doing business because we all know flipping items is is one form of making money. But it just made me wonder, like some of these things that you see on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, these ads, if you really are intrigued about the product, let your curiosity run and do a Google search on this product. See if you can find that exact same model, literally cheaper somewhere else. Most likely it is. And also make sure you do reviews on this product to make sure that you're not spending your money and most importantly, your time. 